In Pro Tools, every session has at least one master ruler. In this case, it's bars and beats, but we can change that. There are several different rulers that come with Pro Tools. Bars and beats, minutes and seconds, and samples, which go down to a sample level. For HD systems and LE systems with the toolkits, you also have two time code rulers and feet and frames. Now it's simple enough to change a ruler. I can go from bars and beats to minutes and seconds by using the drop down here. Under my view menu, I can go under rulers and choose an option here. You'll notice I have a second ruler here in my edit window. Bars and beats is still my master because it's highlighted all the way across. If I want to use minutes and seconds as my master, I can click on that. Now, what does it mean to be a master? Well, if you look at my counter here, you can see that I'm running bars and beats. Let me start my transport. Now, if I switch to minutes and seconds, now we're seeing minutes and seconds. And I can drag minutes and seconds up to the top. I can rearrange the order of these any way I want, including these, which we'll get to later, markers, meter, and tempo. I can drag those up and down. If I want to get rid of a ruler, I just option click it or uncheck it. I can't option click my master. So let me make bars and beats the master and option click that, there it goes away. Now with Pro Tools, I have a main counter which corresponds to my main ruler or my master ruler. I can get a secondary counter by going up here and choosing show sub counter. And I can set that one to something else, let's say samples. And now when I play, I see both my bars and beats and my samples. And I can go directly to, for example, sample number 45,000, or I can go to measure four, beat one. And there you go. Now I can also see my rulers in my transport. I'll hit command and one on my numeric keypad and bring up my transport here. And I can get to the counters on my portable little movable transport, either by using this arrow here and choosing counters or shortcut option clicking the plus sign here. And there are, are the counters. Actually, there's one counter, which I can change. And when I change this one, this one changes as well. But I can also go to my expanded transport and I get a sub counter here as well. I'm spending a lot of time on rulers and counters because that's how we know where we are in a session. And it's easy enough to change to a different location just by typing something in to a counter. And in fact, let me show you command numeric keypad three. This is our big counter. I can also get to it from my window menu, big counter. And this is great, especially if I'm working with video because it's a nice big counter I can put on my screen somewhere and see exactly where I am. And I can use it to type in a location. I hit an asterisk, which is the star key, and I can quickly move to a location. I use the period key to move to the next field. So let's say bar 34, beat three, hit return and I'm at bar 34, beat three. And like the other counters, I can change these. And whatever I change this to becomes the same as my main counter. So just to summarize, we can have different rulers. We can have more than one ruler, but only one is my main or master ruler. I can change which one is the main ruler just by clicking here, by choosing up here, by choosing for my big counter, or by choosing from my portable transport here. And I can have sub counters in my movable transport as well as up here in my toolbar. If I wanna make a ruler go away, I option click it. As long as it's not my master, it goes away.